Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can encrypt our USB flash drive. Now, this one's been requested a fair bit, and uh, I wanted to make a video on it. Now, why would you want to encrypt your USB flash drive? Well, there's a number of reasons. One of them I can think of is if you have sensitive data on there, i.e. photographs of your family and children, uh, maybe sensitive documents or stuff like that, and uh, you've now got a portable drive, which is... Uh, encrypted which means if you ever misplace that drive or lose it and someone found it they would not be able to open it or look at the uh, content inside of it because it is encrypted so you can see the importance of encrypting your flash drive now obviously the other side of it is you will need to remember the password for it because if you forget it's going to be pretty impossible to decrypt that drive and get your data back so sometimes it's always best to have data stored on your computer and also stored on your flash drive so just in case something bad happens so let's take a look at how we're going to be doing this we're going to be using Veracrypt it's a tool that you can download for free and run and encrypt your drive now you can either encrypt the whole drive or you can make containers all sorts of stuff like this but we're going to be encrypting the whole drive so I'm just going to download this first and you just need to hit the download here now I'm using a 32 gig drive and you can see here we're in FAT32. Now this is no good, we need to be into NTFS. So I'm just going to quickly right click on this drive. Now make sure you've backed up all your data on this drive before you do this because otherwise you would lose all your data. I'm just going to quickly format the drive into NTFS. And you can call it what you like. We can call this back up, do a quick format. Well, this will format the drive into NTFS. Okay, so we're done there now. As you can see, we're running as NTFS. And if we right click and go properties here, we should see the drive is NTFS. Okay, that's good. So what we want to do next is we want to put on our content that we want to back up and keep encrypted. So I'm going to stick some content on here and uh, we'll then go ahead and encrypt that. Okay, so now I have put some data onto my drive. As you can see, I've just put some wallpaper on here. And what we'll do is we're going to encrypt this. So we need to install our software. So you can see I've got the download here on the download page. I'm just going to hit this to start to install this software. So we'll let this uh, fire up and open up. I'm going to say to the yes to the user account control here. And I'm going to accept their terms and conditions. Go next. Now we can either extract it or we can install. I'm just going to install here. And I'm going to install it on my computer. And you can see we've got the options here to create a restore point. I don't really need to do that, but you can do that if you wish. I'm going to click on install. And that is now successfully installed on the system. Now you can consider making a donation if you like the uh, software after a while you've used it then always consider making a donation i'm going to click finish so it's asking me do i want to watch a tutorial i'm going to say no I'm okay with that so i've added mine to my task bar here you can add this by just right clicking and pin to taskbar so what we can do now is open up the actual program and here we have our program now we can uh, create a new volume here so I'm just going to quickly do this I'm going to create a new volume now inside here uh, we've got some options you can either create an encrypted file container and maybe I'll cover this in another video 
uh, but we're just going to um, we're just going to create another area here. So we're going to create a non-standard partition and drive. And we'll probably cover these other ones in another video if you want to see those. I'm going to go next. I'm going to say yes to the user account control. And you can see here we've got some other options here. You can do a hidden Veracrypt volume if you wanted to, but we're just going to do the standard uh, Veracrypt uh, volume. Now here we've got some options open to us. Uh, we can select the device and here is all our devices. Now you need to make sure that you select the right one. And my one was called backup, which is this one here. Now you don't want to select the actual uh, drive itself because it won't allow you to do that. You need to select the actual um, path here. I'm going to click OK here, and you can see now we've got the path in there. I'm going to go next. Now, at this stage here, you can encrypt a partition in place, and that's what I'm going to do here. Go next. And you'll see here it's going to say warning please note that the power supplies okay you can read all through this if you wish i'm just going to say uh yes now we've got the option to select our encryption algorithm and uh, you can select which one you want here i'm just going to leave it as aes but if you want to select as you can see here we've got multiple um encryptions like two or three encryptions here you've got AES uh, two fish and also uh, serpent I mean that's really hardcore encryption and that's going to take more the more encryption you have the longer it's going to take to actually uh, encrypt that um, uh, flash drive or drive depending on what you're doing here so we're going to leave this as AES and also the hash algorithm we're going to leave this on SHA512. I'm going to go next. Now we need to create a password. So I'm just going to quickly put in a password. Don't, I'm just going to do something simple here. Now it's going to want you to put a really decent password in here. Uh, just for the case that uh, if someone ever found it they could crack your password but we're just going to put a simple one in you should make a really uh, complicated password and it will give you a warning that short passwords are easy to crack say so yes now you can see here it's randomizing uh, stuff and when you move your mouse around you're getting more and more of this going on as you can see so when I move my mouse it's gonna start to create a more of an encryption here so just keep moving your mouse around like so just for a while and that will create a uh, create an, a nice key now we're gonna go next wipe mode we're gonna do none and also we're going to do none here and we're just going to click on encrypt and you'll see here warning you will not be able to mount the volume or access any files stored on it until it's been fully encrypted so we're just gonna you can see here it's given us the path to make sure we want to encrypt this uh, area here and it's telling us that is the J drive and it's called backup which is my USB flash drive we're going to say yes to this and let it encrypt that drive now it's going to take a while to do so be patient as you can see here it's going to take a little while so I'll come back when this is fully encrypted and uh, we'll take a look at it then when it's encrypted okay so that's the encryption now complete that did take a fair bit of time and uh, that's because it's encrypting the drive and you can see here it's giving us an important message uh, to mount this newly created uh, Veracrypt volume and to access data stored on it 
click the auto mount in devices in the main Veracrypt window. So that means we have to fire up our window. It's asking you to write down all your information just in case you forget it. Now, if you do forget this, you aren't going to be able to get into there. So you need to make sure you write all that information down. I'm going to click OK here. And also you can see here, please keep in mind that the volume cannot be mounted accessing using the drive letter J. So what they're trying to say there really is you can't just open up uh, the drive here. So if I open up this here, you will see it's a you'll see it will say uh, the drive needs to be formatted and that's because uh, the drive is protected and encrypted you can see does not uh, contain a recognized file system so what we're going to do here is to open up the Veracrypt and if you want to open that up to see the content inside then you will need to mount that volume so now we need to select of volume I'm going to select any of these I'm going to select M and uh, you can see here we have mount auto mount and dismount all and uh, what I'm going to do here is select the device and again what you would need to do here is select the device always select the path not the actual drive itself select the path here click OK and then we can mount this now it's asking us to put in our password Just like so and then click OK and now it will the process will start to open this up and you can see it's now mounted this now now we should be able to access this drive remember it's on M so we will go to computer and we will go into the M drive and there we can see all our data here okay so that's now been decrypted so if we want to uh, dismount that all we'd need to do here now again is dismount and that will now dismount and you will then see the M has now disappeared you still can't access this drive because obviously it's encrypted and there you go so right that's basically how you can encrypt your USB flash drive and keep all your data safe and secure so I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button uh, also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that you can head over to the forums the information is on the screen and also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then you can head over there and give us a little like up over there it doesn't cost you anything so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now